subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. For the past few decades, the ivory trade has gone completely out of control, with these poor, gentle giants suffering terribly at the hands of poachers. Every year, hundreds or even thousands of elephants are hunted down and slaughtered, their tusks sawed off to be sold on the black market. Many of these slaughtered elephants were females with babies, and when the mothers were killed, the babies were suddenly left without the parent they needed so desperately in their young years to take care of them. This, of course, resulted in most of the baby elephants dying as well. Although it was difficult to track down the poachers and see that they faced the consequences of their murderous actions, there was one lady who wasted no time in trying to do what she could to prevent the elephants from being slaughtered relentlessly. She took it upon herself to make sure that these huge, gentle creatures suffered no more at the hands of poachers, simply for their tusks. Way back in 1977, this amazing lady, fondly referred to by many as Dr. Dame Daphne Sheldrick, took on the enormous task of raising the elephant orphans who suffered tremendous physical and emotional injuries after losing their mothers. An author and canyon conservationist, Daphne was an expert in animal husbandry and fostered many orphaned animals, especially elephants and rhinos, for more than six decades, introducing each of them back into the wild where they belonged. She rehabilitated and reintegrated more than 90 elephant orphans back into their natural habitat. Not even the daunting task of finding a suitable milk formula for the orphans, which took more than 28 years of trial and effort to perfect, could force her to give up on her orphaned babies. Daphne finally came up with the perfect formula for the orphaned elephants, coconut oil with a base of human breast milk. With their new and improved formula, the babies thrived and Daphne was able to nurse them back to perfect health. Working this closely with baby elephants, it was natural for Daphne to develop deep attachments to them. One baby in particular by the name of Gulliver became incredibly attached to Daphne. According to her, Gulliver had the hairy, wizened look of a little old gnome. Nothing deterred Daphne when it came to her orphans. There were times when she would roll in the grass or trudge barefoot through the mud and sand with the elephants in her charge. Daphne had a tremendous amount of patience with her elephant orphans and would very often comfort newborns that sobbed in their sleep, apparently from nightmares. Each of the baby elephants in Daphne's care had plenty of space to roam and had their own handler to look after them through the day to make sure that they had everything they needed. The main aim of Daphne's incredible efforts was to help these creatures recover from the traumatic experience of losing their mothers and return them to the wild so that they could help repopulate the wild elephant herds that were diminishing in number because of poaching. Daphne's passion to end the ivory trade was so intense she opened her arm to rhinos as well, whose numbers were also dwindling fast because of the ivory horns that they have. In fact, they were on the verge of extinction. Daphne, the Kenyan wildlife conservationist, helped bathe and nurse her little orphan elephants and on occasion would even gently rub sunscreen on their sensitive skin. More than 230 orphaned elephants were lucky enough to enjoy the tireless, heartfelt love and care of this amazing woman. Sadly, Dr. Dame Daphne Sheldrick died of cancer at the age of 83 in Nairobi on April 12, 2018. She might be gone, but people all over the world, and especially the orphaned elephants she reared as lovingly as their own mothers would have, will never forget the decades of hard work that she put into trying to stop the terrible ivory trade. They say elephants never forget, and this is evident in this video, where a herd of large, grateful elephants were seen walking quietly up to Daphne, one by one, to gently hug her for the love and care that she'd given them over the years. Daphne, her orphaned elephants, and the amazing work she did to rehabilitate them and reintegrate them into the wild is really inspiring. Hopefully it's inspired you. You can keep this amazing lady's memory alive by sharing this video with your friends. Subscribe for more!